Hey builders, there's a lot of excitement about MCP right now, and understandably so, because MCP allows you to connect your favorite AI applications, like Cursor and Claude, to tools. In this video, I'll show you how to build an MCP server for Cortex agents, allowing you to ask questions and get value from your data. Let's go. Now, in this video, we'll start from a Snowflake trial account, so you can really build from zero to hero. So here, let's sign up for my trial account. Now we can confirm and get going in our new account. We're in, let's go. So the first thing we need to do as we get ready to set up our MCP server is we need to get some data to use. So to do that, let's go over to data products in the marketplace and let's go find the Cortex knowledge extension for the Snowflake docs. So we can ask questions about the Snowflake documentation directly with Cortex agents. Now I'll choose it and select get. And then now our Cortex knowledge extension is ready to use. And a cool part about Cortex knowledge extensions is that they come ready to go with Cortex search services. So if we go over to AI and ML, in Cortex search, and then we choose the Cortex knowledge extension database, you can see we have our doc service ready to go already with a search service attached. That's pretty cool, right? Now, the next thing we need to do in our Snowflake account is to create our programmatic access token. This is going to give us a really easy way to co call Cortex agents in our MCP server. So to create our PAT, we're going to go to admin and then users and roles, and we're going to select my user. And then now we're going to generate a new token. Let's call it MCP agents. We'll expire it in just one day. Let it access any of my roles and choose generate. Now let's copy it to our clipboard. Uh, let's bypass the requirement for net network policy temporarily. And let's just do it for eight hours. So you see now we have temporary access for the PAT MCP agents to bypass our network policy. Awesome. So now we're ready to get going building our MCP server. So the first thing we need to do when we're getting ready to build our MCP server is to install UV. Remember, you can find all these commands in the quick start for building an MCP server with Cortex agents. So to install UV, we're going to take this curl command for astral UV install. Uh, but I've already done this, so I'm going to skip this piece. The next thing I want to do is clone the repo onto my computer. Here I'll do git clone and then point to the repo, and then I'll navigate into the repo. There we go. Now let's activate our UV environment, and then let's install the MCP SDK and HTTP client. Awesome. There we go. So now, Let's open up the repo that we just installed. So there's one key thing that we wanted, we need to change here. Uh, so in this Cortex agents example, we're going to only use a Cortex search service and not Cortex analyst. So let's remove all of the references to Cortex analyst in our agent setup. So let's comment out the semantic model file. And then we're going to remove the analyst tool resources. Along with the SQL execution. And then everything else uh, we can leave the same. Now we need to fill in our env. So we're going to copy the env template. And then rename it. 
to just be our dot env. So we need to copy our Snowflake account. So to do that, we can go back to our user and choose uh, connect the tool to Snowflake. And then let's select our account identifier and then pass it in right here. Now we need to copy back our PAT. So let's grab that. Here's the PAT. We're going to skip the semantic model file. So let's just delete that row. And then let's go grab the Cortex search service. So back in our Snowflake account, we're going to go to AI and ML and Cortex search and see key doc services. So let's just copy this, put it in right here, and then let's grab the name of the service and paste it right here. So we have database, schema, name of the service. Awesome. Looks like we should be ready to go. Now to run our server, we just need one command. So we're going to run UV run Cortex agents. Now our MCP server is running. Let's go use it. Now that we've set up what we need for our Cortex agents MCP server, let's add it to the MCP host in cursor. So to do that, we're going to go to the cursor settings up in the top right, and we're going to choose MCP and add a new global MCP server. If we wanted, uh, we could also just add a dot cursor MCP JSON uh, to have a project specific MCP server. Uh, but here, let's add a global one. Now we'll just edit the JSON just like this. We'll add a new Snowflake Docs agent MTP server that's going to call our Cortex agent. And notice that we're using underscores here instead of dashes. This is because cursor MTP server seems to have a bug right now with dashes. Uh, so if you're having trouble uh, with your MTP server, try changing the name to use underscores instead of dashes. Uh, so let's close this out. And now you see in our MTP servers, we have the Snowflake Stocks agent uh, running uh, green with our one tool, Run Cortex Agents. Let's add a rule to make sure that cursor always uses MTP if it's relevant. So here we'll go over to the rules and add this really quick instruction just to tell it to use the Snowflake Stocks agent MTP server if it's relevant. Let's toggle to the AI pane, make sure we're in the agents mode. And then ask a question to see which models are available from Snowflake Cortex AI provided by Mistral. Now you see we're calling the MCP tool and we can confirm that we want to run the tool. And there's our answer. Awesome. If you want to go try this out, go check out the quick start and I'll drop the link in the comments. Happy building.